Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue. I'm gonna show you a project that I've been working on that is probably the biggest project that I have ever undertaken uh, here in the shop. It is a food truck facade and it's right here behind me. Now, let me make sure you understand, this is not a how to make a truck, this is just me showing you this big project and kind of going over some of the details. But as you can see, it's full size. It's nine feet tall, it is 18 feet long, and it is 26 inches wide with a full serving window, a place where you can sit down and you know take photos and looks like you're driving the truck. Let me show you some of the detail. Let me start from the front and work my way back. So I have a small grill and we're gonna put some expanded metal behind that to give it a little bit more texture. The hole for the headlight and then a hole for maybe a turn light. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but there at the bottom of the picture frame is the bumper. We still have to do a little bit of work on that, but that also gets attached right there to the front of the truck. Now, as we work our way back in the cab, you're going to be able to actually sit down in the seat. So I've ordered 316 select sand that's going to go into the windows. There's an internal frame that will allow you to remove those panels if they ever get damaged. So I made the seat so that it's nice and sturdy and it's going to be bolted down to the structure of the food truck. And then as we tilt up just a bit, you see that we started working on the dash. We're doing some work on the steering wheel. And in order to get up, because we're only dealing with 26 inches and we had to kind of factor in a few little steps that people could get up into the seat, uh, they'll be able to use the steering wheel uh, to kind of pull themselves up into the cab. Now at the top of the cab, we're actually gonna put in a 110 LED light that can be operated from behind the counter uh, or say behind the truck. This will at least allow for some lighting inside the truck at night. Okay, so in the middle section, this is where we had a lot of the detail work as well. So we have the serving window that opens and closes, like so. We have two 100 pound gas shocks that allow this to actually open. And because over time, you know how these gas shocks can tend to lose their strength or someone wants to play on this, we have a safety mechanism that allows you to keep this from coming down. Now, because this is a full-size open window and sometimes it gets cold up in Sedona where uh, this thing is going, we've created a slide-out window system that will actually bolt into place and they can choose whether they want to open all three windows or one window or have one drink window and have a food window. So they have a few options there. But one of the nice things about is once this is closed, it barrel bolts into place uh, right behind this window. And then when you're done, if you want to open this back up, you can easily open this back up. Close up for the rest of the day. And on the inside, there are actually two barrel bolts inside that will actually lock that door in place. Also inside, we have an area for two lights that will shine down on the serving area. Also LED lights and will be controlled from behind the unit. Now, we chose to go with the full-size tire. That way, make it really look like a food truck. One of the things that we had to deal with was our location is a bit sloped. So the truck will sit on the concrete, but by the time you come out 26 inches, it slopes down probably about two to three inches. So we had to make this hub slide up and down. So once we get the food truck set into position, we can adjust the hub, put the tire in place, lock the hub in tight, lock on the, the tire, and then we're good to go. So the back of the truck is very similar to the front in the sense that we have a hole for a brake light and we also have a bumper on the back. Both front and back bumpers are sturdy enough that you can have a full grown man jump up and down on them and they won't come off. Okay, so that's where we are so far. Uh, we're hoping that we will paint soon and uh, through the magic of video, we're just gonna jump right to the painting. Okay, paint day and uh, we got the primer on, so we gotta wait for just a little bit and then we're going for the sealer. After the sealer, we're going for the color. This is gonna be black by the end of today. Yeah.
officially installed. We've got a few little touch-up things we have to do. But there we go. Food truck facade. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It is greatly appreciated. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. If you have any comments, please put those below. And if you have any questions about the food truck and how it got built or any further detail, go ahead and shoot me an email. I'll see you in the next video. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. You want to trade? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh get out, get out.